Hello everyone, Violet here. Uh, this is my oracle and tarot card collection. Today we're going to look at my two tarot decks. We have the Arthurian Legend Tarot and the Unicorn Tarot. Okay, so here we have my two tarot decks. Um, they've both been definitely used. <laughs> you can tell by the boxes. Um, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of each so you can kind of get the feel for each, and then I'm going to talk to you about the differences between them that I've noticed working with both decks. So let's go ahead and start with the Arthurian Legend Tarot. So this is by Anna Marie Ferguson. Go ahead and open it up. All right, so this deck comes with a little booklet that you can easily reference the meaning of the cards. And what's also interesting is it relates it to a specific part of an Arthurian legend story. So each one of these has their interpretation, their reversed interpretation, and then a little summary of, of part of a story that you could take more meaning from or use to get an idea of it. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sorted the decks for you. So first we're gonna look at the suit of cups and I'll just go ahead and lay them out so that you can see them. We've got the ace, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we've got our page, our knight, our queen, and our king. There's the suit of cups. So as you can see, the backs of these are all this like labyrinth pattern and they all have these borders. All right, now we've got our suit of shields, which would be the same as coins. We have our ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have our page, knight, queen, and king. So there is our suit of shields. Next we have our suit of swords. So you have your ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you have your page, knight, queen, and king. I'm just laying them out quickly so you can get an idea of the feel of them. But of course, if you need to pause on any one card and look at it more closely, hopefully that's not too difficult to do. So next we have our suit of spears, which would actually be the same as wands in this deck. So you have your ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you have your page, knight, queen, and king. And these are all characters from the Arthurian legends. And now we have our major arcana. So I'll go a little bit more slowly with this one. Um, all right, let's make sure it's in front. So we have the Fool. 
the magician, the priestess, the empress, the emperor, the hierophant, the lovers, the chariot, strength, the hermit, Fortune, justice, the hanged man, death, temperance, the horned one, the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, and here's judgment. And here is the universe. So that was the legend of the Arthurian Tarot by Anna Marie Ferguson. And next we're gonna go through the Unicorn Tarot. So the Unicorn Tarot, it is created by Suzanne Starr and illustrated by Liz Hilton. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so with the booklet, I, I, for some reason, I basically put the two extra cards with like the title and uh, the description as like covers to the booklet. Um, that was just me taping it together. I guess I feel bad about throwing these away, but I also hate when they get mixed up in the deck. So that's what I did here. Um, so pretty much for each card, you have a, a, a short description, especially when you are in the suit cards. Um, and each one you have uh, the description, the meaning, and the reversed meaning. So similarly, I went ahead and um, put these in order so that you can get an idea of the whole thing. So as you can see, all of the cards have this um, unicorn in a circle so that you can, you know, you don't know if it's up or down. So to start, we have the cups, we have our ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we have our page, our knight, our queen, King. So again, I'm laying them out quickly so you can get an overall idea and hopefully if you need to pause and look at one in detail, that, that'll be easy, I hope. Okay. Next we have our pentacles, we have our ace. suit of swords. Then we have our suit of rods, which would be the same as wands. We have our ace, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we have our page, knight, queen, and king. And now we have our major arcana, so I'll go ahead and go slower for this one. We have the Fool, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, the Star, the Moon, the Sun, we have judgment and the world. So those are my two tarot decks and I'll say that what I've noticed with the difference between them is that this Arthurian one tends to feel a bit harsher to me for some reason. Um, it's a bit more blunt, it gets right to the point, whereas the unicorn one is a bit softer to me, more nurturing, um, more friendly. <laughs> to be honest, I've mostly gone for this one, but um, there is so much to the legend of King Arthur. I actually have a really interesting book on Arthurian magic, which I think would be fascinating to be reading while working with this deck. Um, but that's the main difference between the personalities of these two decks. I like the classic feel to them, the illustrations. Um, they're simple and beautiful and feel very genuine and lovely to me. Okay, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Um, I am a new channel, so if you can give it a like and subscribe, that would help me so much. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these two decks, if there's one that you like better, what decks do you like to work with, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye!